I decided today to share with you some that I have done and I have experience with and I know I can help someone there who has finished school or who is at home or who is looking for something to do during fasting. <music> welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is melina costa and today i decided to share with you guys some educative information about online jobs so there are some of the online there's so many online jobs out there that people are doing but i decided today to share with you some that i have done and i have experience with and i know i can help someone there who has finished school or who is at home or who is looking for something to do during part time so one of the job that I have done is transcription, you know. I decided to do this transcription because when I moved to Mexico, I realized getting a job was quite a challenge for me during the first years because they speak in Spanish. And they want people who either speak in Spanish or who speak both Spanish and English. So that's when I decided I'm just not going to sit down at home. I need to do something. I need to venture in this world you know not necessarily even go to an office so that's the first time that i decided doing transcription job and transcription is only changing an audio into text so there are so many companies there they give you this job to listen to so many audios like talks president talks you know people's youtube channel they want to keep this record on whatever they talked so those are some of the audios out there in companies that they require to change into a text. So what do you require to do transcription? There are only three important things you're going to require to do a transcription job. Your laptop, internet, and headphones. Those are the only thing you require if you're at home to do a transcription job. Yeah. So one of the company that I have worked with is Rev.com doesn't mean that's the only company you can work with there's so many other companies out there like verbit go transcript scribe so many others yeah but i started working with rev.com because rev have quality audios you don't need to to you know you don't need to have a lot of equipment to filter the background noise and stuff but if you're lucky enough like me sometimes i'm, I'm usually lucky you get even one speaker one speaker job is the easiest job you can do. Just one speaker speaking throughout. And the best part about Rev.com, they give you this script. Like, um, this audio comes with a rough script. This rough script has a lot of mistakes. It's about 80 to 90% true. You know you can use it. But it has a lot of mistakes that need to be edited. Like grammar mistake, punctuations, misspelling words, you know. And also some some filler words like mm, like like someone repeating the words over and over again doesn't make sense to the to the information that or to the audio text so that's what you do so you don't have to sit down and start writing you know everything no they come with that script there so with that script your work is just to edit the small small mistakes that's why i love rev.com but the other company that usually give you to change audio to text you don't require like that rough script but trust you me it's not hard you can just do it you don't need any experience my dear you can just do it yeah it's easy 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 job and then one of the things you're going to note about rev.com is they pay you weekly so every week it's like a motivation you know you worked whatever job you worked maybe like for me i do two or three jobs in a week so if Monday I'm free, I take a 40-minute job or 20 minutes job. For me, 20 minutes job I can finish within one hour. Just finish all the mistakes, edit the work, and perfectly make sure, you know, they will rate you after the end of every work. So be sure whatever you do, you can, it's, it's clear, repeat once or twice. If you have someone in the house who speaks English after you finish, it will be easy for them even to just look at within 20 minutes. They just check that your work, they tell you where you, you know, you had a mistake. But personally, 20 minute job, I can do it within 40 minutes job. I just check and I'm very sure the grammar, the spelling mistakes and everything is correct. And then submit my work. At the end of every work, they're going to rate you. 
the higher the ratings, the more you move to the next stage. The lower the rating, the higher chances you have for your account to be blocked. But trust me, this account you can work with it for so many years. If you're careful, just like any other work, you just have to be cautious and be nice whatever you're doing. So how do you apply about rev.com? So all you have to do is go to your Google Chrome, open it, and then go to www.rev.com, as you can see. And then from there, go down, down, you'll find a place called Freelancer, become a freelancer. You click there. And then from there, they'll give you how to fill your information. You fill your first name. Your first name, for example, my name is Nolin, Nolin Acosta. I can fill details like that, and I'm in Mexico. So I can choose which one I want to be. Maybe I want to become a transcriptionist. That's what I talked about. And then go next. And then to review, you excited that you have decided to apply to become all that. Introduction, they'll give you all the information, the minimum, how you get played and start your application. And then from that, this is where you're going to get all the information about background. Now it's asking about background, what le which is your highest level education, my mine is bachelor's degree, and how many years of work experience do you have? You can say no experience or one to two. I can say have one to two years. And please select if you have any experience in the industries like those ones. You can choose whichever you have. Customer service, administration, all those. And then please select the topic that you're interested in. You can do any business. You know, I like business. I like religion. I like education. And I like about health. Do you have prior experience in transcription? Yes. And what is your current employment status? You know, a part-time. I'm unemployed. So let's say unemployed or I want to become part-time. You can fill whatever. A skill assessment. They tell you, please answer the first question. The best of your ability. You'll have to fill that. Next, they'll fill you to fill grammar, you know. And then you do your transcription. And then submit. So grammar test. You can get it on the on the internet if there is a word you don't understand whatever they're asking you you can just copy paste put it on the chrome or google and you know ask the meaning and read about it and just answer the question audio test you can just do it as you listen because basically that's the work you'll be doing there in rev.com after you have submitted they will send you an email telling you thank you for application and then some few two to three days later they will send you another email telling you if you have passed or if you failed if you have passed that's where the problem comes in you have to verify your account currently they are verifying accounts because they want to work with real people in 2018 we were not verifying our accounts you could have even six or four or five accounts because they were just as long as you have passed the test you're good to go so people used to apply as many as they can with different emails yeah right now you apply but you have to verify what is verification process? Verification process is whereby you put your facial and your ID. ID. So if you have applied job and they have accepted you, you know, just check someone who is in those countries they're accepting to verify for you. Or just open a VPN, you have a friend in certain country, do the application, you know, and then ask them to verify for you. That's easy as that. So I hope this information was helpful. And uh, I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye.